Hey, what's going on guys? Zebs here, also known as Hayden, or the other way around, bringing you another tutorial. And uh, I'd just like to say, for all you people who love the Fallout series, such as I do, we got a treat for E3. That's why this video is coming out a little late. I was watching the E3. Um, but back to this tutorial. Today, I will be showing you how to use Topaz Labs. Uh, this as a overlay, overlay effect. Um, I did this, I did it on here, kind of. It looks very, well, I wouldn't say it looks very clean, but basically what it does is it makes everything kind of smoother, kind of like that Topaz look to it, you know, like, but it adds that, but it still looks like a really sick banner. I did it kind of on this one, but um, today I'm just going to show you a couple of little things you can do on here. So to start off with, this is an older banner I did, but I feel like this one would look sick with the effect. Um, basically, uh, so you have, so you want to merge everything together, so you just have one, uh, one, uh, just one layer, I mean. And this is the whole banner, so if I was to uncheck it, nothing would be here. Just be a blank uh, canvas. So what we do is uh, do Control J, and this will duplicate the layer. Or you could just uh, right click and duplicate layer, and then click OK. Um, but with the duplicated layer, what we're gonna do um, now, this obviously does require Topaz Labs. Um, so yeah, there's free ways you can get it, and or you could just purchase it. Either one works. Um, so what you want to do is once you have it installed and stuff, you want to go to filter uh, and then just go all the way down, down to this kind of like your plugins place, I guess, uh, Magic Bullet Looks and uh, Topaz Labs. So just go over to Topaz Labs and then uh, go over Topaz Clean because uh, Topaz Labs is actually a company uh, that produces some pretty cool stuff, uh, produces, makes some really cool stuff. Um, so once you start off with, uh, you might not have anything selected or anything like that, but uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have, like if you left click over this, you can uh, have a general square of uh, where you can move stuff. So we're just gonna have it in the main part of the banner. So this saw right here. And as you can see, um, this is actually already pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into crisp collection and we're gonna click uh, crisp style. And uh, what you want to do next is just copy all these styles, or these styles, these uh, settings. Um, you can obviously change them if you want, uh, like set it to five, I guess. Uh, stronger look, which actually I might, uh, I'll do four. We'll just do four. So yeah, once you have this, what we're going to do is click OK. And this will process it down below, it says, which will uh, make the effect happen. So we'll just let that load. So as you can see here, it's a very strong effect. Um, so this is why we are going to turn it into a cool little effect. So what you want to start off with is just uh, set the opacity to 50. And as you can see, it still has the effect going. And sometimes it works, but you might be able to get away with setting it to overlay, which in this case does not work. So we're going to do that. And then the next thing what we're going to do is, um, if you guys noticed, this blur is kind of strong. I mean, you could keep it if you want. It works. Um, so we're just going to kind of go around, just kind of remove some of this blur so it goes back to the original banner here now again this is an older banner so it was a little tough to see some stuff because i wasn't so experienced in uh, backings so generally this is a smaller effect but i feel like it's a very cool effect that you guys can uh, do a lot of cool stuff with so as you can see as i'm uh, selecting it and deselecting it you can tell the differences it's making and uh yeah i feel like this is a pretty cool effect um you can mess around with uh topaz lab some more some different things if you'd like um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do next week uh, Please leave a comment down below on what you guys would like me to make next week um, So yeah, hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. I hope you guys found it useful and uh, do some cool stuff with it I have been your host today Zebs and I'm out peace